Have you ever died before? It's a serious question. When the illusion of self is shattered, you simply cease to be. Though it may not seem that way to others, you know when it is true. You can feel it. A stranger in your own body. An imposter. And nothing is the same ever again. Senua has died before. And she will do so again. I can be sure of that. With the mark of Valraven and the mark of Surt, you may cross the bridge over the River of Knives to Helheim. No, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't. Don't. She's done it. It's so dark. It's dark. The dark. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross. Here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. Yes, 
The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from life. You ran from it but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering worse than death. And you wanted to surrender. Abandon and to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye. And you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left.
the warrior trials. <laughs> The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself with secrets, and you will find yours. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to Hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd. Hela possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. 
They say she is easy to recognize. Hard black, hard color of flesh. And her face, menacing and grim. Disgrace! The gods will punish you for this. Get up. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. reaching deep inside of her. Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You failed the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Curse. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's a curse. The shadow Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself because there's no one left to do that for you. Everywhere. What's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just like your soul. 